Hi, I'm Ilaf. Welcome to M365 World Blog. Today we will discuss Shape on Online PowerShell. So let's get started. In this video, we will cover the introduction, prerequisite, how to download, install, and connect to Shape on Online PowerShell module. So let's get started with the introduction. What is Shape on Online PowerShell? The SharePoint Online PowerShell module is a Windows PowerShell module. You can use it to manage SharePoint settings at organization and site collection level. And you must be wondering why to use SharePoint Online PowerShell module. It is because SharePoint Online PowerShell commands can be very efficient for batch operations. If you want to create hundreds of site collections in SharePoint Online, it will be very time consuming to create from SharePoint Admin Center, but you can easily create it using a PowerShell script. Now we'll discuss the prerequisites to use SharePoint Online PowerShell. To use SharePoint Online PowerShell, you must be a SharePoint Administrator or a Global Administrator. Otherwise, it won't work. There are two ways to download and use SharePoint Online PowerShell. You can either download SharePoint Online Management Shell or you can use the Windows PowerShell ISE or Windows PowerShell to download the SharePoint PowerShell module. So you can use either this one or this one. Now we'll see how to download, install and use SharePoint Online Management Shell. We'll use this link to download it. Once you download, install and open SharePoint Online Management Shell from start menu and run it as an administrator. Once it opens, we'll use this particular command to connect to SharePoint services. We'll see how to do that. So I'm back at my test lab. I'll go to the browser and search for SharePoint Online Management Shell and I'll use this Microsoft link to download the module over here I'm going to download this save the file it's done I'm going to run this accept the terms install So once this is installed, go to the start menu and search for SharePoint Online Management Shell. Here it is. I'll run it as administrator. Now we'll connect to SharePoint Online Management Shell using this command. Connect hyphen SPO service URL and over here you need to mention your SharePoint Admin Center URL, which in my case is this one. Now, once you hit enter, a pop up window will open. You need to provide your SharePoint credentials over here or your global admin credentials, otherwise, it won't work. So I have successfully connected to SharePoint module. Now just to test this, I'll use this command. And it's working. Now we'll see how to download, install and use SharePoint Online module using Windows PowerShell. First of all, click on the start menu, search for Windows PowerShell, run it as an administrator. Then you need to install the module using this command. And then once you install the module, you need to import the module. So once you import the module, it will be available for you to use it. And to use it, you need to connect it using this command. And the very special thing about this command is that it works on MFA enabled account as well. I'll show you how to do that. I'm back to my test lab. Over here, I'll go to the start menu and I'll search for Windows PowerShell. So you can either use the PowerShell ISC or you can use the normal PowerShell window. I'm going to use the ISC window and I'll run it as administrator. Now 
Now once you run it as administrator, it will open. Unlike SharePoint Online Management Shell, the PowerShell module doesn't come pre-installed in the, in the Windows PowerShell. You need to install it manually. And to do that, we'll use this command. Install hyphen module. Yes to all. So I already have it pre-installed, but in your case, it will install it for you. And once you install the module, you need to import the module. Now, once you import it, we'll connect to SharePoint PowerShell module. And in the URL, make sure you mention the SharePoint Admin Center URL. Hit enter. In this window, provide your SharePoint Admin or Global Admin credential. And I'm connected. To test this, I'll use this command. And it's working. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. You can comment and share the video. And please subscribe to our channel.